welcome back so last time we were investigating about Dia's father now we learned more about his whereabouts although yeah we're gonna enter these two main this is where we stopped last time into the hiding place led by Kosela's old comrades who arrived at the final hideout of Deshaun's relics ah the rival faction I think we're gonna investigate them fifth assistance is to be served within but it is time to call in curtains for vengeance we're the old one okay well mm, Let's have this here. Or, hmm. Yeah, let's have this here. Oh, uh, let, let's wait. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have D on our party as a guest member, guest character. Yes. Exactly, I guess correct. We have Dendro and then Pyro. Then Electro, of course, and Hydro. Right, here we go. Wow! Paimon didn't expect it to look like this on the inside. They should all be holed up in here. Don't know how many people they've got left, though. Who cares? We'll round up all of them. Okay. Still, we should be careful. Even if they've only got one shot left, it could still take us out. I fought through many situations like this before. Oh yes, we fought dragon, we fought an archon, we fought child, we fought senora. This is way. Those are way worse than this. Yeah, we'll know what they're really capable of once we've landed some hits on them. Yeah. Deshret's relics may have been a force to be reckoned with before, but their name means nothing now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't stand a chance with you here. I'll take the lead. I've been here once before. Okay. Oh, we're actually fighting alongside <laughs> friendly NPCs. Oh, let's go. Happy to apply. Press you are email. not welcome. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Right here. I can't tell which one's friendly. Oh, the friendly ones are the ones with, uh, with the green HP health bar. Shut up. The enemies have the red red health bar. Oops. Beg for mercy. Follow order. New punch. Take yourself a move. Allow me. Oh, okay. You ain't messing around. Let's get it on. You asked for it. I'll take my enemies over there. Swap the Lucky day. Come on, you coward. Wait. Emerge. Right here. Oh. I see everything. Just to rebuild. I can get nothing lasts forever. Where do you think you are? Right now. Right here. The Temple of Wisdom. Look alive. You want this one. Proceed further. This way, follow me. We're almost there. I think they are not only they are uses her sword, he uses her right arm as well. Ha! <coughs> Let's proceed to it. Wait! They went charging ahead without checking for any traps! Yes, exactly. What I have in mind. Oh no. We got hey, separated from them. You guys okay? 
separated from the assault party. <sighs> it seems like we just got trapped in here. Don't think we triggered anything else. Very Watch good. out, the enemy's coming from ahead. Uh huh. Well, now that things have come to this, seems we'll have to fight our way through. Don't worry about us. We knew something like this could happen. Go and take a look around. There yeah, could still be another, another way through. through. Okay. Let's go. We can't let the boss down. Okay. Let's check if there's on, another way. Go. The sooner we can make it through to help them, the better. Yes. You're right. Let's fine. see. Yeah, you did the way, Dia. I think I see a way through over there, mm. but it's being blocked by something. Oh no! Let's try our luck puzzles. with that mechanism. Okay, let's go. Why do puzzles have to hunt this? This do me a way. Well, we are in a tomb, so it makes sense. Mm, we get to be as there. Just a hand of the colored light, so many people may see. Ah. Change colors. Ah, uh, wait. Ah, there you go. Huh. Not bad at all. Not hard at all. Oh, I see. A machine. Wait, is there any? No, okay. No chests. Fight, let's fight. Right now, right here. Shut up. Let's get it on. Yeah. Mm. Yes, treasure. Another mechanism like the one before. Yes. But this one's being blocked off in the middle. Mm -hmm. We just need to adjust it a little. Yes. Hmm. I will take. Nope. There you go. Huh? Oh. I'm gonna lower it. There we go. Proceed for the sincerity facade. Nope, there may be treasure, treasure, treasure. No treasures. Nope, okay, let's go. Let's bounce. Ooh. Of course. Emerge! Let's play for you Allow me! You're dead meat! Mm. 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 <laughs> You're so powerful. Get this, kill more attacks. <laughs> Made by a party. Anyway. More treasure and more enemies, of course. Right now! Emerge! Right here! Share my knowledge. This one, 
know. Hmm. Hey. There we go. I'm sure there's gonna be a boss battle one way or the other. Who oh, is that a chest? I wasn't expecting anyone to make it through from the other side. Ooh. But as a desert dweller, I suppose we should be used to our folks defying all expectations. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your breath. You have nowhere to run. Yes. Run. <laughs> Had I wanted to run, I would have fled a thousand times already. I witnessed the golden age of Deshret's relics. Even if I could leave this place behind, all that awaits me now are endless days of humiliation and ruin. Mm -hmm. Even now, my brothers and I still believe in one thing. And that is? The greatest should never live to remember their fall. So you want to go out in a blaze of glory? Let us draw our weapons! We will show them the true power King Deshret bestowed upon his followers! It is time to do battle! They are but two, while we hold within ourselves the entirety of the relic's glory! Cool. You know, I like the voice acting. The voice acting really did a superb job with this. Anyway, uh, ah, finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. Anyway, let's go. Wave one, charge! Eliminate them! Allow me! Vengeance will be mine! Rack and ruin! Take my heart of this! I'll be back. Don't think that you won. We're just getting started. Yeah, I, I'm just getting started. Uh, oh, oh. Hold the line. You're dead meat. Never yeah, testing my patience. King Deshret will not abandon any one of his followers. Ow. Allow me. Right here, right now, right here. Yeah. Right here, right now. Oh. Share my knowledge. Yeah. Like gladiators ring. They just keep coming no matter how many we beat. 
let me just the our allies are going to save the day they're going they're going to charge the remaining enemies yes keep fighting there's no need to fear and, and no, no need, need to, to back down, down. this is our this last, is our last yeah. stand and when the next wave comes try to draw away their attacks i'm going to see if i can take out that high platform Got it. Okay. Uh, the, wait. Get out of my way. Mm. There we go. Our allies. Come and face me, Michel. Mm. So they've broken through the front as well. Apologies, Lord Michel. They just they fight like absolute madmen. No matter how much we throw at them, they just keep coming for more. Mm -hmm. So, it would seem like this is the end. Time to pay for everything you've done, Michel. <laughs> you think I would give you that opportunity? I will be buried in the sand alongside all the rest of our fading glory. Okay. So gold. So bright over there. Hey! Wait! Huh? What's going on? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> it, it, it rendered. What? Huh? We were too late. It's over. There's no more need to fight. But if you're still going to cling on to your so-called mercenary's pride, then I'll give you all a good beating as well. Hmm. <laughs> hey, dear! I found the mechanism. I'll get you all back up here right away. Hmm. Oh, it's uh, an elevator. I'll Let's go. It. Let's go. Huh? Where the walking? You should be running. Okay. Like this. We need to run. Ooh, treasure. Treasure. Anyway. Oh. Mm, now let us admire the deer. Who are you filthy rats? And why are you always pestering us? <laughs> you call yourself a member of the infamous Deshret's relics and you still can't even tell who's made it all the way to your headquarters? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what intent a bunch of rats may have? We try to catch a couple, and you all just show up on the other side instead. How are we supposed to figure out what you're after? Hey, have you ever heard of a man by the name of Kusela? Hmm. <laughs> why would I know? It's not like I'm in charge or anything. This is your last chance to talk. No. Uh -oh. Hey, I said I don't know anything. I'm just an average member here. I'm telling the truth. If you're here to find someone, why don't you look through the records yourselves? Who can remember every name and face with so many people coming in and out every day? The irony. His life became a light for so many, yet to others, it wasn't even worth remembering. Mm. Where's the records room? Answer me. It's right over there. All the files are in there. You can go through them as much as you want. It's not like any of them still matter anyway. I mean the old records room. The, the old records room? You mean the one that got burned down? Kusela. Ah, yeah, I remember him now. The guy who could hardly walk. Mm -hmm. Watch your mouth. That's our boss you're talking about. He was definitely faking it. We all let our guard down as soon as we saw him come hobbling in. But in the short time it supposedly took him to take a dump, he'd already gotten away and started a fire in the records room. Mm. He couldn't have possibly outrun us if he wasn't a fraud. Mm. And after that, Deshret's relics fell into complete disarray. Mm. Stop wasting our time. Every one of us here is perfectly aware of what he had done. And that Tell me, where is the old records room? Mm. It's just over there. Go see it for yourself if it means that much to you. There's nothing left in there but ashes. 
No human could ever survive that kind of inferno. Okay. Bashar, Tikriti, let's go. We'll leave the others here to guard these guys. Oh. Spare them no mercy if they try anything. Uh huh. No, it stopped. Uh, I already told you everything I know. Can't you just leave me alone? Okay, okay, fine. Uh, here are his allies, and the ones on the ground are the enemies. Okay, let's go. That's the, uh, let's go. Open record show. Here we go. The moment of truth to find out what happened to this to sailor. So, this was his final destination. How did he do it? Getting past all the guards with a limp and sneaking in here to start a fire? Mm. If he was nimble enough to do that, then he must have been able to get out of here after starting the fire, right? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, that's the case. I'm sorry. I know it's just wishful thinking. Let's look around. Maybe we can find something that's been left behind. Everyone suggests around the room. Hmm? Is this a king? It must be the one that Dia's father used. <laughs> How they search the sounds sounds like birds flapping their wings. Anyway. Kusela. Thanks for everything, boss. Mm. We're fortunate to somehow find that cane after that fire. Let's split up and look around some more. What if something else has been left behind? But what else could survive a fire like that? Mm. Right. Huh? What is it? Cutscene? Oh yeah, the cutscene. <sighs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sword? <sighs> oh, it's a sword. And... Thought so. <sighs> Wait! Isn't that the toy sword you played with as a child? Mm. <sighs> The dragon is no more. The Princess Dia has slain it. Mm. Its head now hangs above the city gates. Her bravery has brought eternal peace and prosperity to us all. Dia, come on. This is the most important line. Um, um, you can do it. But Dia, you defeated the dragon. Everyone's waiting for your speech. <laughs> <laughs> Still too shy. All right, I'll do it. I hereby proclaim our victory! Evil shall plague us no more! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's <is> cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hereby proclaim our victory. Evil shall plague us no more. Story was shared with the Corps of Thirty, which finally joined the investigation in the name of Strong Order. The members of the Shirts Release were brought to justice, and the members of the Khan Al the Khan Ak Akmar turned themselves into the authorities. The king that once been to Sela was given the as a part of her inheritance. He was completely silent on the way back to Sumero City. What's this? We got you some snacks and drinks. All on Paimon stuff. <laughs> this one. Don't you remember? You asked Paimon what she would do if she were to wake up tomorrow with loads of money. Of course. 
lots of mora equals lots of food. I mean, I, I, won't, I won't complain. <laughs> if that will happen to him. Boatloads of tasty snacks. You looked super confused at the time, but said it was an adorable thing to say. Mm. These opportunities don't come by often. So today, Paimon's gonna treat you to a special crash course on Paimon's life philosophy. She rarely spends her allowance on other people. It's really my feet, but you get the point. <laughs> hey, this way you get something from the both of us for the price of one. Mm. Anyway, the point is that you should eat to your heart's content. You'll feel better for sure once you've gotten something in your tummy. Junior Zad will also be here shortly. She's already heard that we're back. Mm. Aw, thanks you two. Honestly, this is very unlike me. I just had a lot on my mind on our way back, so I didn't know what to say. Mm. My chest was filled with all kinds of intense emotions. They just shook me even more than all the feelings we've shared during our previous adventures. Mm. But when everything Makes came sense. to an end, those emotions also vanished without a trace. And I was left feeling more empty than ever before. It was as if I'd lost the thing that was most important to me. Everything just happened so fast. And look at the size of that... Uh, that food. <laughs> yeah. You're right. To many mercenaries, Mora is the most important thing in the world. But perhaps to us, it's the most worthless thing of all. Idrisi and the others all used to say that they would quit if there was no Mora to be had. But when it came to avenging my father, there was no Mora to be made anywhere. Mm -hmm. My reality shattered when I found out that the father who always told me hero stories was in fact a bad guy. But look at me now. Am I any different? Despite all my promises about never forgiving him and never trying to understand him, I still went to such lengths to find out the truth and nearly even shed tears for his sake. We're hypocrites, all of us. You should, you should never question your true feelings, though. Yeah, you're right. It's just a pity that we often only recognize our true feelings after it's already too late. Mm. You're back! Are all of you alright? Ah! There she is! Yeah. Many people from the Corps of Thirty came over and I just wrapped up everything with my dad. All I can do now is wait for their verdict. Mm. Huh? Dia, you're looking quite down again. Explain. A lot happened while we were gone. Mm -hmm. Once Paimon finished telling the story, Dianzad begins to cry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really should have controlled my emotions better. I, I just. I just. It's all right, my lady. You were hurt by all of this as well. Truth be told, I'm starting to feel a little guilty watching you cry like this. <laughs> Dia, now your pain must be even worse. You shouldn't need to comfort me. Hey, don't worry about me. If anything, this whole thing has finally shown me the difference between illusion and reality. My father probably thought that people could settle into new lives as long as they moved to a new environment. Mm. That thought has even crossed my mind a few times. It's like saying, what's wrong with adapting to a new life? However, there was always something deep within my mind that refused to accept it. This impulse brought me great turmoil, and even made me feel ashamed for turning my back on your father's kindness. But now that I consider it again, it all makes sense. The desert sands are a part of who I am, and I will never be able to lead a peaceful existence. I understand how you feel. That doesn't mean I won't be making any changes to my life, though. As an example, I'm now thinking about taking on some small odd jobs. It's just like Idrisi said. I also want to catch up to my father and become a character in his play. Mm. Even if the ending of the story may be childish and ridiculous, it won't really matter. Isn't that neat, though? Oh, you'll be a whole new kind of mercenary, one that's not out for Mora. Mm. Why don't we go for a change of scenery once we finish eating? 
uh, what about stopping by the Grand Bazaar again? Right. You said you wanted to get a rug for your family. Hmm. We'll come along too. It's always more fun when everyone is together. I agree. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for taking care of me this entire time. <laughs> All this talk from morning to afternoon and then evening. Night time. Anyway. <laughs> time flies so fast. Oh. Mm. Go to the Grand Bazaar to clear your head. Rug. Oh, this rug here is quite something. The craftsmanship is exquisite, and the fabric is also of high quality. Ah, here you are. Finally, I found you. Hey! Uh -huh. Aren't you that mercenary who bit his tongue? You can still talk? Mm -hmm. Wait, are you here to take revenge on us? What? Out in the open? <laughs> what are you talking about? Do I look like I can take you all on a sight? I just came here to give you something. I'll be on my way to give myself up to the core after this. Once I woke up, I hurried to the Khan al-Akhmar's camp, hoping to alert them to your presence. But when I got there, I found no one except the members who were still too injured to move. Ah, so you probably got there after us. Yeah, they told me that they had exacted their revenge, and everyone had turned themselves into the authorities. Even that last camp was not going to last for much longer. Mm. We can, I can tell that his voice is uh, uh, because he injured his tongue. I had joined the cause to repay an old favor from Kusela. Now that everyone's already turned themselves in, I might as well do the same. One of the injured members gave this box to me and told me that it contained some of the old man's last possessions. Everything left in the camp will get confiscated, so I figured I should get this to you before the Corps could get their hands on it. Mm. Thank you. No worries. We are all just living our own truths. There's no need to comment or judge anyone for it. So this box contains everything that Dia's father left behind. Huh. It feels lighter than expected. Okay. Well, back in the day, the first thing he did with any Mora was spend it on things like drinks and meat. But let's see what's inside. Yes. Wh what's this? Uh, it's just a bunch of junk. It, ugh, it kind of stinks. Uh, perhaps it's just been left unopened for too long. Hmm. hmm. A handwritten copy of a storybook. The paper's already yellowed, and it looks like it's about to fall apart. It was against the Academia's rules to possess books for personal use. <sighs> if he was going to break that rule, he could have at least copied something useful. That probably means this was really important to him. Mm. Ah, and here are a few bags of children's snacks. Mm. The packaging's completely deteriorated. Maybe that's where the smell was coming from. Yeah, it's way past its expiration date. Did he get those for you? For sure. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. Even when I was a child, I was never a fan of these kinds of snacks. He'd always say that he got them for me, but in the end, he always ate more than I ever did. Who even leaves snacks in a box like this, anyway? Isn't that just common sense? <sighs> Forget it. Let me see what else is in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A razor, some buttons, some round iron tiles, a wooden toy puppet. A wool scarf, which from the looks of it probably belonged to a woman, and a hair clip? Uh, why are these things here? Uh, I, I, I'm suddenly feeling a little scared. 
I'm sorry, my lady, but this is just the kind of man he was. He probably saw this box as some kind of personal trash heap and dumped any and everything in there. Hmm. One, no, two empty liquor bottles. Ah, <sighs> tell me, you guys, are these the kinds of things that a normal person would leave behind? Interesting. Interesting. Huh? <laughs> There's something in the bottle. And? Oh, you're right. What is it? <sighs> All right, I got it out. It seems to be a piece of paper with some writing on it. The bottom part's all damaged from moisture, though. Let's hope the writing didn't smudge. <clears throat> I was suddenly seized with an urge to write a letter after finishing this bottle. I just folded it up and left it in the bottle, though. If I end up forgetting about it, it won't really matter. Mm -hmm. To Dia. <gasps> it's a letter from me? You don't need to read it out loud. It's all right. I'll just read it out. If he went to the trouble of writing a letter, there must have been some important things that he wanted to say. Or at least, or at least record down. Record down. Record My condition's down. becoming worse and worse. Can't even walk without a cane anymore. Much less go out and have fun. Guess I don't have many days left. If you're reading this letter, then I suppose I'm already long gone. You were adorable as a baby. Everyone loved you. And regardless of whether you were crying or laughing, everyone enjoyed having you in the group. But once you grew a bit older, you were no longer nearly as happy or cute. It's probably the guy's fault. <laughs> can you no. believe this guy? He can point the finger at himself. We just keep... Anyway, back to the point. To summarize, I'm writing this so you would know not to feel sad for me, even if you end up finding out the truth. The reason being that I was never your father to begin with. Mm. Wait, what? Surely uh, he must be joking, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I was quite formidable when I was young, and a hundred times cooler than some so-called flame main. <laughs> really felt like the whole world was under my feet. With just a teeny tiny bit of effort, I felt I could rule over the entire desert. But as fate would have it, I went out into the desert oh. for a drink one day and the music. discovered a baby in the sands. It was you. Mm, the music, it shifted and it fits. You were just lying there, small and helpless. You were so tiny that if the wind blew for just a little while longer, you would have been buried forever. But your cries were so loud, they made my head hurt. <laughs> now that I think of it, you really were a bundle of energy. Uh, sounds like he's serious. Of course, maybe. Yeah, yes, fine, yes. I told Idrisi and the others that I had slipped up with a woman while out and about. <laughs> None of them even doubted me. Mm. I'm sorry that I had to lie to them for so long, but I really had no other choice. I was their most esteemed leader, after all. I'd like her to just tell them that I suddenly wanted to play at being a father. Mm. <laughs> ah, at this rate, I'll puke up all the liquor I just drank from this bottle. <laughs> anyway, dear, you possess the kind of freedom and kindness that we could only dream of. As far as how you should live your life, and It'll up be up to you to decide. decide. That's the end of the letter. In the end, he was still thinking of me as a little child. But isn't that also a good thing? I suppose, or I would have suffocated under the sand a long time ago. He was a good father to you. The fact that he wasn't a blood relative doesn't change that. Yeah. It's just a pity that we had to learn the truth of everything like this. Oh, what's this? <laughs> it's a Moonstab team. A tender strength, if I remember correctly. But yeah, it fits. It fits. Do you already have some ideas about the decision that he wanted you to make? I mean, Moonstab is really, really famous, so I guess they use this. And yeah, if it's I do. If he first found me alone in the sands, then 
I want to try my hand at finding the person who abandoned me. Hmm. I just have one wish. To tell them a story. That there once existed a childish and foolish jerk with a heart of gold. Hmm. And that only under his care was I able to grow and mature into the person I am today. If you end up finding any leads, can you share them with us? We go on adventures all the time. Maybe we'll be able to find some information for you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> sure, I appreciate it. I wasn't expecting you to be so enthusiastic. I also don't want to see his efforts go to waste. I don't want to. St I don't want you to stop going forward. This one. I'll help too. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. My life has certainly had its twists and turns, but I've always considered myself lucky. Because no matter where I've gone, I've always been surrounded by incredible kindness. Oh, that's it. Oh, there's a ship though. So, that'll be all for now. See you in the next video. And yeah, Dia must, Dia may be, you know, her kid is meh, but the character herself and her story quest is, is great. It's just a shame that, you know, the. His, her kit is like the but her movie though is it's it's great it's good anyway uh, see you in the next video I'll be out for real this time